Hello and welcome to the history of Stargate Universe. Today's episode we're going to be covering Dr. Robert Kane. And here we go. Dr. Robert Kane is a Tari scientist who was assigned to the Icarus base in 2009. He and roughly 80 people were forced to evacuate Icarus base during an attack against the base by three Lucian Alliance Hatak vessels. He ended up on Destiny, an ancient spaceship located several billion light years from Earth. Since moving in, he regretted bringing his only pair of shoes with him, though fellow scientist Dr. Dale Volker thought they were nice shoes. He was sent to a gravel pit planet with Lieutenant Vanessa James, Dr. Dale Volker, and Airman Rennie, where they discovered a crashed alien spaceship. Some time after believing the exploration of the planet may have been a waste of time. He was later assigned to the communication lab. He filled in for Sergeant Hunter Riley, who was injured weeks earlier. Kane filled in for him until Riley fully recovered. He overheard Lieutenant Vanessa James' infatuation for him by accident. Later, after the expedition's first Nakai encounter, he was approached by Lieutenant Tamara Johannesson concerning whether or not Kane would pursue a relationship with James. Kane said he wouldn't since it would become awkward between the two if it were to fail. However, he did point out that if they are going to be on Destiny for a long time, he will change his mind. As part of the group sent to the planet Eden, he started to believe that they should stay there. He refused to return, as did several others. In exchange for the damaged ancient shuttle, he was left there with a small group of civilians once the military personnel returned with Colonel Everett Young. Some time later, Lieutenant Tamara Johannesson saw him in a dream. He told her that the planet builders took care of him and the other stranded people and gave them a home to survive winter. He also showed her odd stellar objects that had appeared in the sky. Eventually, the obelisk builders sent TJ back, but let her baby stay on Eden, where Kane and the others would take care of them. TJ, at first, wasn't sure if it was real, but after seeing the object, apparently a nebula, where Destiny next stopped, she seemed to come to believe she really did see him. Several months after Dr. Nicholas Rush unlocked the bridge and the loss of the functional ancient shuttle, Kane and a group that remained on the planet appeared to Destiny after they exited FTL, where he and the group wouldn't remember what had happened. The shuttle was found to be in better than new condition. Eventually, those in the group began to die. It was realized that they had already died before and that the planet builders had reanimated them somehow. Kane was the last person alive in the group and spent his final hours with TJ speculating that the group were dying because the Builders had only been able to restore their bodies rather than their souls. Hey, thank you for watching the History of Stargate Universe. Special thanks to the Stargate Fandom page for all information you heard today. Very special thanks to Royalty Free Tube for this fantastic background. Have a great day. Bye-bye.